Hello, welcome to the first Luton Room devlog. Today we're going to I'm going to show you the prototype I've been working on, which is fairly bare bones actually, but uh, it is it does test some good some of the things I want to have in the final game. So you can see that there are ships. Well, I will say it's gonna be a party game. It's gonna be a steampunk party game where the goal is to loot islands and. Uh, Steal their, steal their items from the island so you can later pawn them off like when you skip the island you go to the tavern screen and you pawn off these items so you can upgrade the ship and hire crew and uh, each time the islands get more difficult they have more ships in patrol and more uh, turret defenses but also more items to loot because it also gets more expensive to maintain a ship and pay off the crew salaries and and whatnot so that's basically the game I want to eventually have, but for now I just have this prototype, and it's kind of fun to play around with. You have a bunch of ships, and they're all like... And like the middle one, this is the player one. This is the Scion ship, it's the one you're controlling. This prototype, it, I, you can move around with the left mouse button, and shoot the spacebar. What you'll notice is, that the further away the mouse is from the ship, the more power goes into the cannonball, so it shoots further out. And also they have like a high coordinate, so you can tell that if I shoot them high, they have a shadow. And yeah, another important thing is that this is currently a web prototype. You can see this is a Firefox. This is Firefox, and that's where the 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 game is running right now. It causes HTML5. But if, I don't think the final game is going to be a web game. It's certainly going to be PC only, and probably single player. But in a form of death, so if you die while trying to do an island or something, you have to start all over. But but every time you start a new game, you can hear rumors about the damage you've caused in your previous lives. That's pretty cool. And uh, another thing I want uh, that I want to add is that this prototype it is bare bones, but it's kind of fun. It's mis it's mostly at the moment a test of ship physics. It has some bugs to to work out, as you can see. But that's mostly because like spawn a lot of boats on top of each other, so <laughs> that's why that happens. And like, the important thing to consider here, well, nothing really, but it is fun to play around with, and you can, and like, it has some things that already kind of work, for example, you can't actually, you can't actually go on land, obviously, you're like in a ship, so it pushes you back under the water, as you can see, kind of like a ramp, it's kind of funny sometimes. And, uh, you see that there's all those ships, and they're, what they are is they're NPC ships, so they're a test of basic AI. It's very basic at the moment. All they try to do is chase you and shoot at you, and they're actually not that bad at that jobs. You can see there's a lot of coin balls going my way, and, and sometimes they hit and do some damage, and, and you can see how many times I die and refresh the page to restart the game, the prototype thing. Although some of them just hit me. We can shoot back and kill them. And you can see that every time I destroy a ship, my score counter at the top left goes up in this prototype. See, I have one kill right now. The cake is for kill. It's just a prototype. It's, it's just like it like to keep track, but it is fun to play in this prototype and just see how much how far you can go before you die. And uh, there you go, second kill. And so yeah, these NPCs, basically at, at the beginning, they're all set to target me. Although if they do shoot each other, they can start in a fight sometimes. As in, they start trying to sh they they get mad at each other and try to kill each other because, oh my god, you hit me. See, one of them just died there. And at the moment, there, is, there isn't much in the way of like visual effects. If your ship is destroyed, it just kind of vanishes, just like that. Just like that. How many ships are vanishing already? Yeah. Let's see if we can hit that one. It has very low health. I have four. Come on, you're gonna be my fifth kill. There we go, five kills. And then also that one. Hang on. And then you can see that if I move my mouse around and hold the line of mouse button, I steal my ship. It kind of spins a bit, but it's generally fairly stable. That's because I did some compensation. So it knows how fast it's spinning and it tries to uh, compensate for it if it's spinning too fast. I and, and it might overshoot the target angle. Oh my god, I might die here. I should probably stay away here. Try to dodge. Yeah, no, that didn't work very well. But you can see, that's the fifth... I have about five kills before dying. In this game, with the steering and 
the difficulty in the steering, which is forming a shift, it's actually not that bad. But it can get quite challenging, and there's probably some better strategy to avoid getting hit. But this is just a prototype, and not even close to the gameplay I want in the final game. This is more like a weird team deathmatch, or one versus all, or kind of like a zombie game. And it's kind of funny. Look at the ships flying around in a start state. That's so funny too. But yeah, I guess I eventually should stop playing around with this and just go back to working on the game. But I hope you like the stuff vlog showcase. I definitely like making this, and I'm very interested in. I'm very interesting in this game because it's an idea I've had for like a year, about more or less. But I started working on it last week. Actually, last Sunday really is when I started working on it, and it's Wednesday now, so. I'm happy with my progress so far, but I'm not entirely sure what I should work on next. My ideas in my brain are a little bit sketchy, so I should probably work on that before I actually continue, but we'll see where this goes. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'm gonna be reading them. And, uh, I mean, I'm gonna think about it. I really should, uh, tell up my ideas and, and whatnot. I have a GitHub page. Uh, you can put it in the description, so if you have uh, anything you want to say, you can put it here, in the issues tab. You can make an issue and just write some ideas you have. Oh yeah, you, you probably should, you do have to make an account, so just comment, just put it in the comments, it's just easier like that way. Oh, look at that, I'm flying off in the in this distance. <laughs> yeah, that happens because like, uh, I don't know, there's some weird bugs, especially when you tab off, but it's just a prototype, it's not really meant to be a stable and clean product, it's meant more, more to be like a showcase of ideas and to see if they work out together and if they're fun, so. This, is, this prototype, this version mostly just has the ship physics and, and shooting in it, and, and the ships are like a placeholder. You can really just ellipses, but at some point you want to have actual like ship parts which you can replace, buy new ones, and like they have different effects on like water dynamics and uh, can be weapons, so they shoot cannonballs or other projectiles. They cause damage, have different trajectories. Or maybe they're like extra propellers, because remember, this is gonna be a steampunk part game. That's why I'm able to steer so fast, despite not even being moving. Like this, like I can steer. So this is going to be a, a, a funny steampunk part game, which is also going to affect the, the artistic, the art style. And like, it's gonna be fun, I guess. <laughs> To see how that idea plays out in the end. And that's why, part of why I'm so excited for this project. It's it's not often that you see steampunk pirates and, I guess, roguelike looting games. Looter shooter. I guess you can kind of call this a looter shooter, the idea I have. Not this prototype, but the eventual thing I want to have. But For now, this prototype is already fun to play around with. But I should probably get working on, like, different items to loot and a tavern screen and... Progression between islands and yeah, I have my work cut out for myself for the prototype, let alone the final game, which I know is just like it's gonna be more polished, it's just gonna have a lot more effort and time put into it. So, if the prototype goes well, I might open a fundraiser or something for like the final, the actual like game, but we'll see how that works. Thank you for uh, turning into the to the devlog, it's been fun showing you the, the progress I've made, and I really hope that this game uh, at some point becomes its own thing like like i really hope that this actually shows promise i think it does and i really hope that that actually manages to flourish someday into a very fun game with like stealth mechanics and all and it's gonna be fun a uh, combination of ideas which i think everyone's gonna be enjoying so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next devlog i'm signing off